trees, 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 and more trees. There are more than 60,000 different types of trees in the world. Which one is your favorite? Remember it well, because it might not be around for much longer. While there are an estimated 3 trillion trees in the world, we lose about 27 soccer fields worth of trees every minute. This is what if, and here's what would happen if everyone planted a tree on their birthday. There are 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet. 130 million people are born every year, which is about 250 births a minute. This means that on any given day, there could be about 350,000 people celebrating a birthday. So yes, we're talking about planting a lot of trees, but we could certainly use them. Why? How much do you like breathing? Trees and plants produce the air we breathe. But if that's not good enough for you, they're also natural heaters, air conditioners, noise reducers, move improvers, flood preventers, and property value increasers. Oh, and they absorb harmful carbon emissions that are warming our planet and endangering our lives. Given the state of our environment, how many trees will be enough to save us? To put it in perspective, you would need 1,545,000,000,000 trees to absorb all the emissions that were produced in the year 2010. But could we reach that goal if everyone planted a tree on their birthday? With the average global lifespan at 72 years old, that means that everyone plants, give or take, 72 trees in their lifetime. Assuming our population stays about the same, and we don't pollute any more than we do now, it would take two and a half generations of continuous birthday tree planting to finally plant one and a half trillion trees. Even if that timeline was possible, this massive tree planting effort would require a land area the size of Asia, Europe, and Australia combined. But that's no reason to be discouraged. There are more trees on the planet now than there were 30 years ago, and Studies show that there's enough suitable land on Earth to increase the number of trees by a third without it impacting our agriculture or cities. But while a massive tree planting project could erase almost 100 years of carbon emissions, it would also take 100 years to grow these forests to a suitable size. And with the world's population expected to be at 11 billion in 100 years, now might be a good time to start planting. Right now, Roughly half of the world's population lives in cities, and that figure is expected to rise about 70% by 2050. This means that cities will have to expand and develop the surrounding countryside. This means fewer trees and even more greenhouse gases. We're going to need a lot of trees if we hope to build large, sustainable cities. Just one tree can produce enough oxygen for four people while 100 million trees can absorb 18 million tons of carbon dioxide and save $4 billion a year in air conditioning costs. Urban density has a huge impact on the local temperature. In cities with a million people or more, it can be as high as 12 degrees hotter than out in the country because pavement and concrete are natural heat absorbers. But trees are a welcome relief, not only by offering shade, but they also release water vapor from their leaves. Trees are effective against cold weather, too. As natural windbreakers, they can reduce heating costs for families by as much as 25%. So, with their natural climate control abilities and their ability to soften the noise of dense city traffic, you can probably guess why trees are natural stress relievers as well. But despite all these benefits, you can have too much of a good thing. To protect themselves against environmental stresses like insect infestations and extreme heat, trees release volatile organic compounds VOCs, which can react with other chemicals in the air to produce methane and ozone. So in their own little way, too many trees can also pose a risk to the environment. Of course, we're not in danger of having that as a problem anytime soon, and we likely never will. Right now, we're losing 7.3 million hectares of forest every year, which is an area roughly the size of Panama. And a lot of massive tree planting projects are being stymied by political or economic conflicts, not to mention geographic limitations. 
But as long as you have a backyard, a handful of seeds, and the right climate, you can make a difference by planting just one small tree. So give it a try. Help us grow a better future and go out on a limb next time on What If.